Good day to you, everyone. Uh, we are proceeding with the fundamentals of accounting. And uh, in this course, we lay the foundation for you to build on as you uh, intend to pursue or to become an accountant or to appreciate what happens in the accounting department uh, to those who, who prefer to specialize in various uh, business programs. So this important course brings the needed or lays the needed uh, no background so that uh, as you are operating in any business organization, company uh, or business, you'll be so live to the activities and the requirements of the accounting department. Having done unit number one, which is an introductory or an overview to accounting, where we defined accounting as the process or the science of gathering, analyzing, recording, summarizing, and communicating the economic value of uh, the business or the firm, it's important to proceed and look at uh, unit number two. And uh, in unit number two, we are looking at uh, uh, business uh, transactions, business uh, transactions. As an accountant, you need to understand the types of business transactions that exist for you to know and be able to record transactions accordingly. You have to know what happens in each and every type of uh, transaction. So we'll look at uh, various types of business transactions, uh, probably state the advantages and disadvantages of each. Uh, you may be aware that when you say business transaction, we are simply referring to the legal process of exchanging goods with goods or goods with services or services with services. You no, know, there are a lot of you know, exchange taking place almost in daily basis. When we are exchanging a pen with a pencil, it's a transaction, it's a deal. If you are exchanging a pair of trousers with a shirt, it's a deal, it's a transaction, and it must be legal. Uh, yes, it can be legal if we put it in writing, but even there is what you call implied. Okay, so if we exchange without any proper documentation, still legal, because uh, you know that exchange, everyone has agreed to it, and everyone is equal to the process that is taking place. Everyone is so alive to that transaction, and everyone commits him or herself. So we can say it's legal. The legal process of exchanging goods with goods is what you call business transaction. Now, to make these business transactions legal or more legal, we can, can go further and uh, put it into writing by producing some business documents that to prove uh, that indeed the transaction took place or the payment took place or uh, the debt no, uh, was generated as a result of this. So invoice may be generated, a receipt may be generated, a cash sale slip may be generated, a delivery note may be generated. So all these may come as a result of business transaction. So before we look at how these documents uh, are generated and how they are relevant to the accounting profession, it's important to understand and lay the foundation of business transactions. So there are various types of business transactions. And these, are, we've got number one, butter transaction. Uh, this is the process of exchanging goods with goods or services. Uh, or services with services or goods with goods. 
For example, as I indicated earlier, a pen being exchanged with a pencil, that's butter transaction. No currents of any kind is involved. No money, no coins, no minerals, whatever is involved. So it's purely butter transaction. It's the oldest study of business transaction in the world, as you may know. From time immemorial, people have been exchanging caterpillar with uh, swords, caterpillar with clothes, caterpillar with other things, a god with some service of cutting trees and so forth. That's purely butter transaction. The advantages may include no currency is involved. You don't need to be going to the bank to draw to the ATM to draw any money. That what you have is that what you use to exchange with something that you do not have. No currency is involved. Then it's, it's, it's easy. There is no measure of value to indicate, to say how much this got and how much is this big. There is some a bit of compromise, which is track so that quickly transaction takes place. However, it has got you know, a lot of disadvantages, uh, this type of business transaction. As you may be aware, you know, uh, it's difficult uh, to, to measure the goods with the services because no currency is involved. As you're transacting, you not say this gold is worth 300 kwacha, while the pig is worth 500 kwacha. You say, like, can you exchange? And there you do it, you exchange. So no measure of value of some goods may disadvantage others. You know, others may override on that and exploit those individuals that may have you know, valuable products. For example, let's say fish in some a place near the river, the lake, they don't have medium and someone takes some medium there and with a medal, a gallon of medium, they may exchange with a heap or maybe 10 big pieces of fresh fish, which if brought to Lusaka may weigh five kg or 10 kg, which is more than, let's say, 100 or 200 kwacha, but a gallon may cost 20 kwacha. No, buying something with 200 kwacha, that's exploiting. So there is no measure, measurability, measurability is not there. Divisibility is another challenge, disadvantage. You cannot divide some of the goods and, unless you, you slaughter or you kill. For example, exchanging a chicken with a duck. You may not say, this duck is too big, can I cut the leg? No, you just exchange like that. So divisibility, indivisibility is another disadvantage. Well, if you're using currents, 10 kwacha, you can say, no, this is worth nine kwacha, and you can easily change 10 kwacha into one kwacha notes and give the actual amount which uh, is uh, equal to the product or service that you want to purchase. So indivisibility is another challenge. There are other challenges, of course, that uh, go with butter transaction. However, it's one of the easiest type of transaction for the entrepreneur to embark on, whereby they can start with whatever they have. I mean, sleepers, I've got uh, 20 sleepers uh, in my home. I think I can use these and exchange and get some other goods that I do not have. Or I can quickly convert them into something. I get some caterpillar when I take to Muchinga or other provinces, and when I bring to Osaka, I will double or triple the amount that I'm going to use. So butter transaction is one of the, the type of business that we can embark on. The other type of business transaction is uh, credit transaction. Credit transaction is whereby we transact by collecting the goods and services and payment is made later meaning I'll get the goods today, use those goods. If they are foodstuffs, I hammer, then payment is made later. Uh, this type of transaction, to make it legal in formal business operation, 
and an invoice is generated to indicate that, sir, madam, you are owing this amount for the goods collected on this particular day indicated on the invoice. So an invoice is used and the invoice will be given to this buyer, to this consumer who is collecting goods on credit. And now remain if the duplicate that I will use to transfer the transaction from this source document, the invoice book, to the book of accounts. So this type of business transaction is also one of the oldest transactions that has existed since the creation of this world. People have been using this type of transaction. In the Bible, it is there. In history, it is there. Everywhere, it is there. And right now, it is still existing. And it will continue existing indefinitely. Therefore, it's important for accountants to know that there is credit transaction. And, and this type of transaction has advantages and disadvantages, just like butter transaction. What are some of the advantages of butter transaction? So in the exam, in any assignment, a question may come, discuss the types of business transactions that exist and they clearly indicate the advantages and disadvantages, then they say 20 marks. And there, when you face such a question, make sure that you dig deeper but by writing at least a minimum of two pages in that answer booklet that will be provided to you by the university and you score a lot of marks. So you need to be discussing these and clearly document or indicate the advantages after describing the transaction, you indicate the advantages of each and the disadvantages of each. Quickly move to another one. You explain, describe in a paragraph, then the heading advantages, a heading disadvantages, and move on in that order. So what are the advantages of credit transaction as we continue answering the question that I posed? This type of transaction has advantages, merits, uh, which include goods may be sold within in the twinkling of an eye because everyone, even those who are not interested, even those who do not have money, if they hear there is some goods being sold on credit, they will be the first ones to line up and get as many as they can and prove that they can also be you know, good buyers on that particular day. So goods can be sold quickly. The other disadvantage is it, it works well when you are dealing with goods that are expiring so soon. For example, you realize that some goods are expiring by the end of this month. Therefore, those goods must be cleared. How can you clear them? Put them on credit. Then you see them being cleared within a twinkling of an eye. You've got some perishable goods, fresh fish. And uh, after inviting some customers, you realize they're not coming forth because it's cash transaction. And the flies are now coming because the fish, fresh fish is changing shape. Therefore, quickly introduce another type of transaction. The reason we are learning them, bring in credit transaction. Then you see people getting uh, those pieces of fish within a short period of time. So that instead of just throwing them because they have gone to waste. At least you transfer that money to somebody who will give you after, let's say, two days or one week or by the end of the month. However, this type of business transaction has got a lot of disadvantages and it's important to document them. Now, when you're transacting using credit uh, transaction, everyone will come. Those who are, don't have the potential to buy and those who have will come. However, those who do not have the potential to pay back may run away. So it increases bad debts. Bad debts, these are debts that you have failed to recover because the people who got those goods are not capable. You've tried to threaten them. You've tried to insult them to the extent of beating them, but you realize they cannot still pay and they're just wasting your time and your efforts. 
better forget about it and you forge ahead, think about something reasonable that will be proved to the institution, you forget about them. So you're going to write them off, canceling. That's bad debt. Money unrecoverable. Money written off. Money considered to be an expense, even if you didn't spend it for the benefit of the institution. So that's the disadvantage of credit transaction. The other disadvantage is it creates an enmity. You know, you may be friends when someone borrows and they fail to pay back, they were greeting you, they start avoiding you, they change the road, they change the church, they change the whatever they go to shop so that you don't need. At the end, it creates an enmity. So that's one of the disadvantages. Then the other one, it can push or throw your business into liquidation, bankrupt, because you don't have the resources to continue running your business. Let's get a look at uh, the last type of business transaction called cash, cash transaction. A cash transaction can be broken into two, cash and bank, but you bring them together and call them cash transaction, inclusive of hard cash and check payment or bank payments. So this is a type of transaction where goods and services are collected after making payments or after paying the supplier immediately. So with this kind of technology, we see a lot of different types of business of cash transactions you know, prevailing on the market. And, uh, among others, we've got you know, payment by hard cash, can pay by check, payment by using cards, and we've got different cards on the market, debit card, credit card, and visa card. We've got internet banking, mobile banking, among others, mobile money, all those are there for you to exploit them. And during COVID-19 period, where handling of money is a challenge, it's always encouraged to use the existing technology you know, to pay and also receive payments. So cash transaction may have advantages and disadvantages. Among the advantages is it does not create an enmity because business ends immediately when payment is done and goods are collected. Okay, it doesn't throw the business into liquidation because if your profit margin is 40%, you get it as soon as you sell, meaning the business continues running indefinitely. And uh, it also provides uh, the business an opportunity to maximize on other no, no greener pastures that are existing because you always have cash at hand. Cash is already with you. Cash is not with another company, another individual, another organization waiting to be paid at the month end or at the end of the quarter, at the end of the semi annual, or at the end of the year. There is nothing like that. Cash is ever with you because as they come, they always bring you cash. So you can buy anything that is on the market. If there is a change of the market, you quickly switch on to that because you've got cash readily available with you. Those are some of the disadvantages. Of course, the disadvantages of cash is the church says it chases some customers that may not have cash right there and then, but cash may come tomorrow. They will not get your goods and they may go get a lot of goods from the neighbor because that neighbor is flexible enough to allow them to get the goods and quickly bring the money in the near future. So your goods may be taking long to be sold because you do not allow credit transaction. Uh, those are some of the disadvantages of credit transaction. So what were we talking about? We were talking about types of business transactions. And we are saying there are various types of business transactions. These include butter transaction, credit transaction, and cash transaction. However, all these have got advantages and disadvantages. And the question here is posed for you to quickly, to do a quick revision and prepare yourself for what is to come. Thank you so much uh, for 
uh, this uh, uh, attending this important presentation. Hope you've enjoyed. And may we continue keeping safe during this period. And we can share this clip to other colleagues so that together we can move as one. May God continue blessing us all. Thank you.